I think it's safe to say 1987's Predator is not only one of the greatest action films of all time, but it's also one of Arnie's best films, let alone being the only good Predator film. So what happens when you get the team behind the Friday the 13th video game and place it in the jungle with one of the greatest sci-fi aliens of all time? Well, you get Predator hunting grounds. For those of you who haven't played asymmetrical games before, like Friday the 13th or Dead by Daylight, Predator Hunting Grounds is a 4 on 1 multiplayer action game where a team of marines are tasked with entering one of three jungle maps where they'll need to destroy drugs, eliminate high value targets or other various tasks. Though the marines have entered the Predator's hunting grounds exactly like in the 87 film, and by doing so, the Predator is now hunting them. The marines will need to achieve their missions and call in a chopper and escape all while keeping an eye out for the Predator. The Predator's goal is simple, find and eliminate those pesky marines that have entered his or her territory. Predator Hunting Ground is set in around after the 2018 Predator movie, if you can call it that, with references to Project Stargazer and the marines being aware of what predators are, rather than the scared yet curious nature of what's out there. Past them trees. Past them trees. The Marines will arrive on the map together in a chopper and will play in first person. Marines have a variety of weapons and classes to choose from such as the Jack of All Trades Soldier, a Heavy, a Scout and a Recon Specialist. Playing as a Marine, teamwork is a must. You need to call out what you see, where you are, what you're doing but most importantly what you hear. When the Predator is in the area quite like in Dead by Daylight there are signals that will alert the Marines. You'll hear the clicking of the Predator's mandibles and if they're coming in and out of cloaking you'll hear that iconic electrical buzz. If you see the Predator, you'll be able to tag them like the ping system in Apex Legends. Deal enough damage to the Predator, it'll start to bleed out and leave a trail of neon blood. The tension in these moments are quite good. If you think you see something, your first thought is to just shoot. Anyway, I started blasting. Bah, bah. Well, I don't see so good, so I missed. Then they ran away. You'll be able to follow the Predator and finish it off, but the Predator is quite quick and can get away. Now the round will end if the Predator kills all the Marines, the Marines escape and complete all their objectives, or the Marines kill the Predator. Loadout wise for the Marines you'll have the main secondary weapons, perks and special equipment. You'll also be able to physically customise your Marine in a variety of ways. The Predator will play in third person and you'll start each round in a random location on the map. You'll start off with the basic 87 Predator weapons such as the wrist blade, the cloaking device, the shoulder cannon and a healing kit. You'll also have your standard health, stamina and energy bars that you need to maintain. Use the cloak for too long, you run out of energy. Fire the shoulder cannon too much, you run out of energy. You'll also be able to cycle through the iconic heat vision mode on the helmet and traverse through the trees. The attention to detail, love and dedication to predator hunting grounds is fantastic. When you're cloaked and use the heat vision, your eyes will glow yellow just like in the film. You'll also be able to mimic human voices and if you receive too much damage, your helmet will break making the game play even harder. Oh shit, you destroyed my mask. Oh, I don't have fucking heat vision. <laughs> you fucker destroyed my mask so I can't use my vision now, you dick. I didn't even know you could, like... You won't be able to use your heat vision, you won't be able to aim with your shoulder cannon as the laser system is on the helmet. Strangely though, the vision isn't that infrared mode we saw in the 87 film when the Predator takes his mask off. If you take too much damage and your health reaches zero, you'll go into a fight or flight mechanic. You can either run off and heal yourself or give up right then and there and try and blow yourself up. It's clear that the team at Ilphonic love the Predator franchise. Are you gonna get a fucking... <laughs> oh yeah, gotta do that, eh? Free cheat session. I can do a cheat session. <laughs> nah, bah, nah, bah. But... Sadly, with all this attention and love for the lore, playing as the Predator is quite boring and they're underpowered as fuck. The Pred Core, which is the Predator's Parkour system, and yes, it's actually called this, feels like playing Assassin's Creed 1 and it's that clunky too. If Marines cover themselves in mud, clearly they won't show up on the heat vision and you'll need to listen for sounds like weapon fire or enemy alarms. If Marines are coordinated and have suppressors on their guns, good luck finding anyone. Now mud will fall off the Marines after about 60 seconds or so, but Marines can mud themselves up at any time. The shoulder cannon's laser targeting system is a dead giveaway for where you are in the trees or when you're trying to target a player. You'll unlock more weapons as you progress and level up such as the smart disc, the spear, the net gun and even a handheld pistol version of the shoulder cannon. The smart disc is a controlled weapon like the smart battering from the Batman Arkham series but the smart disc moves very slow and makes a large amount of noise 
when it's being used and will alert the marines when it's coming at them. The wrist blades and other melee weapons are quite weak, especially for the predator. Here's an example. During one round, as the Predator, I got taken out by three Marines who were only using knives. We've seen in the movies that Predators have lifted people off the ground using a wrist blade, and the damage output of the wrist blade in Predator hunting grounds is like using harsh language against a brick wall. It's a shame too that the fear mechanics from Friday the 13th didn't port over into Predator hunting grounds. In Friday the 13th, if Jason killed a counsellor and another player found the body, they'd freak out, get scared and make it easier for Jason to find them on the map, and it sucks we can't do the same thing as the Predator. Imagine being able to kill players or enemy AI, skinning them in the trees and when a player finds them, they get scared, causing their heart rate to go up, making them easy to hear when they're running and dispense more heat from their bodies, making it easy for the heat vision. Killing a marine is also the repeated animation over and over again. You down a marine, you walk over to their body and either perform a quick or an extended execution which just involves removing the player's spine and skull. That's it. Jason had a plethora of execution animations yet the predator doesn't. I'm not a short one now, I don't know what to do. Not bad, Whitey, but if it was me, I'd have ripped the spine out of his ass. You'll have three separate classes to play as, as the Predator. A heavy, a scout, and a mixture of the two called the Hunter class, and for the first time, you'll be able to play as a female Predator. The customization is more lackluster with the Predator 2. You'll be able to select a variety of masks, most of which look like a nine-year-old designed a Star Wars helmet. One of these helmets even looks like what my mate described as the Darth Vader looking one. You'll be able to pick armor shaders, you won't be able to change armor platings or anything, but just shaders. Skin shaders and even select their predlocks. Yes, it's actually fucking called this in the game. Now if you did pre-purchase the game, you'll instantly unlock the 87 Predator to use, which is just a body and helmet skin for the Hunter class. It's interesting for a game that's based around the 2018 Predator movie that there aren't any masks from that god awful movie nor any other Predator films. With the depth of customization available for the Marines, it'd be nice if the Predator had the same thing. Besides the Predator and the Marine players, there is also enemy AI and they're fucking dumb. They'll deal very little damage and are more of an annoyance than a threat. If the Predator is uncloaked, running around on the field in front of the Marines, the enemy AI will target the Marines over the Predator. If marines are covered in mud, they're not moving and they're hiding in bushes, the enemy will not only spot you, but start shooting you immediately. It honestly feels like the enemy AI was an immediate afterthought, and this shit needs to be fixed right away. Gameplay wise, you replay three maps over and over with the same repeated missions, and after a couple of days you've basically experienced the entire game. Every map is also in the jungle and during the day, where there needs to be more maps that cater for the predator, making it more of a challenge. Yes, they're in the jungles, and yes, graphically they're beautiful, but it can be way too easy to spot the Predator. What would change this up a bit is having some levels set at night time, making it harder for the Marines to see the Predator whether they're cloaked or not. 90% of the games I played as a Marine, I'd win. Where previously in Friday the 13th, made by the same developer, it was nearly impossible to kill Jason, and the likelihood of Jason winning was very high. Predator Hunting Grounds is also cross-player, and you'll be playing against PlayStation 4 and PC players. PC players are not limited to using a controller, so if you're playing as a Predator on PlayStation 4, going against PC Marines, well... Good luck. Playing as a Marine solo without friends is as fun as playing a Survivor in Dead by Daylight or Friday the 13th solo. Even playing solo as the Predator, which you would think you'd have some kind of fun, is drab. The Predator is heavily underpowered. Playing this on PC with some mates, we tested out the damage output of a fully charged attack from the shoulder cannon to the head of a marine, and the marine's health will go from 150 to 30. Where again, we've seen in the films, this will easily blow a Minnesota-shaped hole in Jesse the Body Ventura in one hit. And yet, playing as one feels like you're the kid in The Mummy Returns with his slingshot. There is very little meat in Predator Hunting Grounds. But there is some fun to be had, but only if you're playing with friends. There's nothing better than having private games knowing your mate is hunting you or vice versa. That's right, you can execute me. Or even playing against a random predator while you and your mate sit up around the objective, planning for the predator to come into that area. No, 
you won't be able to set up traps as the marines, and no, you won't be able to hoist marines into the trees for skinning as the predator, the but you can still dog? coordinate and plan your attacks. Down. Oh fuck, he's right on you. Oh, hi. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Predator Hunting Grounds is around $55, $60 in store, and with the amount of content provided, the fucked AI, and the underwhelming power of the Predator, this should be $20 to $30 max. It kind of sucks that this iconic movie monster has yet again teased audiences with a great experience, and in some ways, Predator Hunting Ground has somewhat tarnished this icon even more. Best advice is wait for this to go on sale and hope that Alphonic continue to work on this title like they did with Friday the 13th. Hell, maybe in three to six months time playing as the Predator yeah, will actually be bad. fun. Yeah.